Hey guys, it's Alex. Today I released version 1.3 of Jesse and it's a big one. As always, we had a bunch of bug fixes and improvements that you can read about in the blog post that I published. But in this video, I want to show you the highlight of this release that hopefully will save you hours of doing research as it did for me. So let's get right into it. So here's a strategy that I developed just a few days ago. And let's say I want to run backtest for them. So the first one is using the 15 minutes time frame. Let's run it. While this is going, I want to also know the performance of it on another time frame because at this point, let's say I've just started developing it and I'm not even sure which time frame or symbol is going to perform best, right? So I have no choice but to also try it on other time frames. So instead of 15 minutes, I can also pick 30 minutes and then another one for, let's say, one hour and another one for four hours and another one for six hours. But here's the thing. Now I have five tabs open, just back to some BTC UCT, but on five different time frames. So what if I also wanted to try it on other symbols such as ETH UCT? Now in that case, we would have 10 open tabs, right? If I wanted to do it on three symbols, then we would have 15. So very quickly, the number of open tabs that I have just for this one single strategy, it grows. So every single change in my strategy, would need me to click on the rerun button on 10 or 15 different open tabs every single time, which very quickly becomes exhausting and energy draining. And not only that, to actually check out the results, I would have to come here and read this performance table, right? And compare them like this. But what if there was a better way? What if we could very quickly rerun everything or very quickly look at the bigger picture of the performance of this strategy among all different symbols and time frames? Well, that's the feature that I implemented. It's called benchmark and you can find it here. Now you can see that I have the backtesting result of all the other open tabs and very quickly, I can read the name of the strategy, which in this case is obviously the same. You can see the starting and finishing date, the exchange, the symbol, which in my case is BTC UCT for all of them, the time frame, the 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, four hours, and six hours, the total trades, net profit, profit percentage, max drawdown, and everything. So right now, you can see how much better this is for checking out the overall performance of your strategy. But now let's say that some of these metrics are a bit annoying and I don't want to see them. So for example, I already know that the starting and finishing date of all these backtests are the same. So what if I don't want to see that so that the table would be a bit simpler to look at? I can just come here and filter out the starting date and the finishing date. And also maybe the strategy's name and the exchange and the symbol because again it's the same for all of them. I also don't really care about the net profit because I already have the net profit percentage and the other stuff are fine. So now I can very quickly check out the result of this strategy only with the metrics that I care about and I can compare each and every one of them. Now what if I had way more tabs here and I wanted to sort them by the best metrics. Now the best for you might be different than what it is for me. So one might care about the PNL, another one might care about the Calmer ratio. So by default, it's not sorting anything. So the order of these is the same order that you have for these tabs here, but I can sort them based on some kind of metric. So for example, by net profit or something like that. So when I make a change to my strategy, before I had to come back and click on the rerun button every single time, right? But now I can just open the benchmark page and click on this button to rerun every single tab that is open. All right, and sometimes some of the times tabs will fail because of some kind of error. And if that's the case, you can just click on this one to only rerun those tabs. We also have a button for canceling all of them. So let's say you could just click on rerun all, but you just change your mind and you wanted to cancel it and then change the line in your strategy and come back again. You can do that as well. And if you want to, let's say, duplicate one of the results, for example, I like this one. So I want to just duplicate it but I want to change one single thing. So I can click on this one to quickly go to that page, change something. So let's say it's the symbol, the time frame, or the duration or whatever. I can just click on start again and come back to the benchmarking page and I can see the results of it here. Now let's not sort it because I want this one to come here. So just one more time, when you click on the duplicate button, it will be opened right next to the previous one that you had, which is pretty useful. All right, we also have the rerun button individually for each one of them. We also have the delete button. So let's say I don't need this one anymore. I can just delete it pretty quickly. Now, next, I want to give you a very quick preview of what I'm building for the coming weeks. And it's going to be our very own AI. It's called 
Jesse GPT, which will use the OpenAI models, but with the knowledge of our documentation and strategy examples, and it's going to help you to write strategies to debug them and things like that. We already had this on the GPT store, but that version was way limited, and the new one will hopefully be much more smarter, and we will have the ability to update it as the time goes and as you guys use it and give me feedback. So it's going to be really awesome, and I'm going to need some early testers. So if you're interested in that, make sure to join our Discord and let me know about it. Next, we added support for live trading on Gate.io, which is already established crypto exchange. And as a result of the partnership that we had with them, first, we're going to offer free trading on their exchange for at least a month. And the first 100% to use our affiliate link to sign up on their exchange will receive rewards such as futures voucher and also VIP 4 level for 30 days. I'm going to write about the exact details in my blog post. So this is a great deal if you haven't already signed up on Gate.io. There's a lot that I'm cooking for the upcoming releases and a lot of strategy videos that I'm creating for you guys that I cannot wait to publish. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.